Hi and welcome. My name is Michael Barge and I want to show you how I work with MIDI in Finale and Pro Tools. There are many ways to work with MIDI. This is just one of them. As a guitar player, this comes in handy when you need drums, piano or any other instrument. In this example, I use simple entry without a MIDI keyboard. As you might have noticed, I have chosen Morning Has Broken by Cat Stevens for this project. I had worked with it for a while when I came up with this idea that I wanted to document my workflow. I wish I could speed up the video as I did in the beginning, but that will change the pitch in the audio and I don't want to do that. So forgive me for not doing so and please be patient. When you add articulations to finale, it affects the MIDI produced to some degree. Here are the finished result. I'll play a little for you. Next step is to export it as a MIDI file. I have already done that, so I don't need to save it. I have shut down Finale and started up Pro Tools. We need to import the MIDI file into Pro Tools. No need to create an instrument track. Pro Tools will do that for us. I like my master track at the end in the mixer window. I also want the transport to show. MIDI has no sound at all whatsoever. What we need to make it sound is a plugin. I have a few of those. I'm especially fond of Steinberg's The Grand Three Pianos and I like the Börsendorfer 290. The plugin is now activated and we can remove it from the screen.
Some clipping has occurred, and that's not good in a digital environment. We need to fix that. As you can see, Finale has created the velocity in the MIDI file at the same level, except where we added the articulations. Finale has either lowered or raised the MIDI velocity. We can change that. Pro Tools let us efficiently do that all at once. As I have mentioned before, I have worked with this earlier so Pro Tools remembers the settings I have chosen. I forgot to highlight the MIDI in the editor. That allows me to show some shortcuts you can use. Option 0 and Command down arrow will take you to change velocity. When you press apply, you will see the changes that Pro Tools have made. That made a difference, but you might still have to do some manual work to polish everything. I have made some audio volume adjustments called automations. It's the same as adjusting the faders on a mixer in real time. Because I have done this in forehand, I don't need this track anymore. So I'll delete it and bring back the one I worked with previously. Unexpected things happen when you don't plan everything carefully. Now I have reactivated the plugin. Thanks for watching. I'm Michael Bage. See you next time.